Unlike the happy Smurf characters we all know about, the Smurf attack is a serious cybersecurity threat employed by hackers for malicious purposes. This type of attack happens at the network layer of the OSI model. By the end of this video, you will understand the meaning behind the name of this attack. Smurf attacks caused quite a commotion in the 1990s when the internet was still in its early stages. For this attack to be successful, the hacker needs to spoof the IP address of its victim. IP spoofing means that hackers send IP packets from a false source address that doesn't belong to them in order to deceive recipients about the origin of the packet. Malicious hackers always try to hide their origins and spoofing is the technique they use. Technically, this means that the attacker manipulates the source address field in the IP packet header to make it appear as if the packet is coming from a trusted source when, in reality, it's from a different and often malicious source. Think of this network infrastructure. Let's say we have two devices. A is for the attacker and B is for the target. And we also have about 3,000 hosts on the network. These hosts are basically the Smurfs. The attacker has an IP address of 4.4.4.4 and the target has an IP address of 4.4.4.5. The hacker will spoof the target's IP address and send an ICMP echo request message to the 3,000 hosts on the network which will make them think it is coming from the victim or the target device. Meaning that the IP address sent from the hacker is now 4.4.4.5 and not 4.4.4.4. The act of changing of the IP address is the IP spoofing. This packet will now be sent to the router broadcast IP address where the 3000 hosts exist and the router will believe it is coming from a trusted source. Once this huge number of hosts receive this spoofed ICMP echo request message, they will respond with a number of ICMP echo reply messages directed at the target. Remember, the target never sent this packet in the first place. Once the target receives this huge number of IP packets, the memory of the target, aka the buffer, will be overflown and overworked. This results in a buffer overflow, which will make the system of the target unavailable, causing a denial of service attack. This is one of too many attacks that can cause a denial of service that aims to consume the resources of the target. Think of it this way, someone with a malicious intent is using your number as theirs without telling you. Then this imposter sends a large group of people an invitation to a party you never arranged. The invitation here is the spoofed ICMP echo request message. Suddenly, all these people show up at your doorstep when you are not prepared, thinking that the message came from you, which in return overwhelms you and your resources. Although this is an old type of attack and can be mitigated with basic strategies, you should always consider updating your systems. This is why LCM or lifecycle management projects at any organization are important. LCM projects aim to keep the hardware equipment as well as the software applications always updated in order to keep up with any type of security threats. Another way to mitigate such an attack is to disable the ping commands on your network devices and activate them only when needed. When it comes to the reason behind this name, the key similarity between the attack and the cartoon characters is the idea of a large group overwhelming a target. In cybersecurity, naming conventions always aim to provide a quick and recognizable reference for a specific attack type based on its characteristics. This is why the name Smurf Attack captures the essence of this attack, a coordinated and amplified assault, much like the way the Smurfs work together. Thank you for watching the whole video. Remember to use a VPN. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.